So Taylor Childers nose to the greenstone. First thing we need for this song is a capo. Now we're going to need it on the third fret. Um, essentially, if you want to play along with the song, at least you'll need it on there. Um, now, if you want to just learn the lesson, learn the chords and the progression, and then get a capo later on, that's fine. But I would always advise to have one of these things handy, because otherwise you're, there's a lot of songs that you're not going to be able to play along with otherwise. So let's get straight into it. So again, capo third fret, and we'll start with a D minor chord. Next chord we're going to be playing is an F5 and then we'll be moving to a C. So that's the three chords for the verse. So for his little lick, he plays a D minor with a little hammer on, so it's Okay, so what he's basically doing there is he's using a D minor shape but his third finger is hammering on on the string. Now if you're not sure how to do a hammer on, essentially if you pluck the string and then hammer your finger down, that makes a second note. So it's one pluck and then the second note's made by actually hammering down on the actual string on the fretboard itself. Okay. So if we try that with the D minor chord as well. Open first, and hammer on onto that third string on the second fret. Okay, so there we can go for the D minor to an F5. Okay, now an F5 is similar to an F. We're playing an open E string, so oh sorry, open first string. And if we play the F shape but take off the middle finger. Now to get your technique right, ideally you would mute the 5th string as well using your 3rd finger, so just touch it no more, just to mute it and that way you'll have a wee bit more sway when you're actually playing the strumming otherwise you'll just need to be really accurate when you're playing the F just to hit the bottom 4 strings and not touch the 5th and the 6th Okay, but if you mute that it gives you a wee bit more play And from the F5 we're moving on to a C so we're moving up, so it's an easy progression from there, so we're essentially just lifting straight up. So the middle finger is on the 4th string on the 2nd fret, and the 3rd finger is on the 5th string in the 3rd fret. Okay, so if we play that through, and we lick. practice that a wee bit just to get the rhythm and things like that and get the strumming pro uh, correct. Now from there we'll move into the link or the verse, it, it basically changes a couple of times but it's very very similar to the verse, um, the, the main difference is that rather than playing an F5 we're playing a full barred F. So essentially we're playing an E shape that slid up one fret with the first fret barred with your first finger. Give it, it gives it that little bit of a fuller feeling on it. So this one goes from a F to a C to a G and back to the D minor. Okay, so a little run through of that is. And that wee lick kicks in it as well. Playing the G, so we we're transitioning from the C, you could use the pinky and move these two fingers up if it's speed wise, it's, it's been a problem swapping all the way around. If it makes it easier, you could just put your pinky down and do that as well. So you're just basically playing the bottom string with your pinky, and he does that in the song at times as well, so that's absolutely fine. So, this is the sort of one of these days. Now 
wind bit that's slightly different, same chords, but what he does is he holds on to the G chord for a little bit longer, and it's the day I've been trying to just, the way he plays this for two, the G, so day I've been C, G for two, F, C, G, back to D minor. Okay, and that's the only bit that's different. He plays the G just for an extra lick, basically, an extra strum, um, rather than going back to the D minor. But generally, for most of it, it's the F, C, G, and back to D minor. And that's all your sort of links and stuff like that in between and your actual chorus. But um, So we'll give it a wee run through. So we start in the verse with a D minor. And a little lick. he does is um, he does a couple of wee licks and stuff like that using between the C and the F5 a lot of it is um, the middle finger hammer on and again with the F5 as well it's um, sort of hammer on as well with the, the middle finger but listen to it uh, on the record and you can put it together as you like but that's the, the bare bones of it basically there, um, so hopefully that's been helpful, thanks. <laughs>